my life driving down the road and the phone rings and I answered it. So-and-so just died. Suicide. So-and-so just died. Drug overdose. Well, not my family. I don't care. Church don't care. They went to hell. Ain't no, no exits in hell. No escape. And I know people that are going there. And I can't pray for them like I pray over a cheeseburger. Lord, thank you for this food. God bless us as we eat. In Jesus' name, amen. Haphazard. Eternity's at stake till there was no remedy. Cut off, no hope. You come down through this and God says, this is why you're here. You forgot me. Now I'm going to forget you. America, you forgot God. Now he's going to forget us. I started marking disasters, judgments, a long time ago when I came through these things, knowing the urgency in my spirit, the fervency, the zeal that I talk about of, of not being satisfied. I am satisfied with Jesus, but the question still remains what? Is my master satisfied with me? And I answer it. No, you're not. I ain't done enough. Tozer and Ravenhill got together and put this one. Five seconds inside eternity. You know it? We we'll all wish we would have prayed more, served more, done more. That's a regret. I don't know about you. I don't like living with regrets. I try to take regrets away. I don't want to get to the judgment seat. Hear the words from the Lord, well done thou good and faithful servant, enter now into the joys of the Lord and automatically know I could have done more. I'm very much aware of that right now. But then why am I not doing more? Why does revival tarry? Because we won't do it. We won't pay the price. Personal revival, many people, a lot of people, Corporate revival, we won't pay the price. You can't hardly find an all-night prayer meeting anymore. Fasting, blessed that Shane preaches, teaches, and does it. Glory. Those of you that fast are coming into here, glory. Appreciate it. Wonderful. Glad to hear that the disciplines are intact. But most of the church, as you know, are ignorant of the doctrine of fasting. They don't know the stories, the character, the accounts of Scripture. They, they don't, they're not going to fast. Oh, no, they go to a doctor, and the doctor says, now, don't eat or drink anything after 10 p.m. because you've got to have tests the next day. What will they do? Oh, they'll fast then. But when the man of God or the prophet of God says our nation is sinking and the drugs are swallowing us up and the cancers are out of control and the LGBT storm rolling over everything and the abominations are excelling, fast! Well, I, don't, I ain't got time for that. I, I can't do that. Apathy. That's how we get here. That's why we're here. God grabs down and he grabs people like you and me and he bursts within us and says, return, come back. Get on the path, the old paths. Get back on that which I have blessed time and time again. Learn it, know it, do it. Know God, know who he is. His names, his attributes, the accounts of scripture in that. The problem with that, he's infinite. I'm finite. Finite cannot comprehend nor understand infinite. They will never coincide. But what I do know, what I have experienced is sufficient. He's good. He's great. He's holy. He's powerful. He hears. He answers.